There you go. Check out these guys. I reckon my dogs enjoy hunting rats more than pig hunting. Their tails are going all the time. Where's it going, Poe? Where's the rat, eh? Yeah, they catch them. They catch them anyway. This uh, trailer is full of rubbish. It's... I'm going to get off because I want to I go to the refuge station and see if I can get some, uh, some muscle boys. So currently I'm cruising with Will. Will just said, uh, hey mate, I'm in between jobs right now. Are you needing hand with anything? And I said, hell yeah. So I've just met Will about an hour ago. Yep. And I've uh, been having a coffee with Mikhail and my brother Maui and discussing some pretty good hunting stories actually, which I'm not allowed to talk about, eh? <laughs> we, 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 maybe we won't this time. No, because well, they, weren't, they weren't completely, totally uh, Above board. Above board, but they're good stories, mate. Any story that involves a chopper, oops, oops. is a good story. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a load of rubbish. Uh, Will's going to give me a hand with that. We've got uh, two big, big fellas up there. My brother Maui's pretty big. I don't think you guys have seen him before. And um, Mikhail, and we're going to put some rubbish in the back of the trailer, then go buy some muscle boys, hopefully, and uh, get this uh, garden going. So this is Maui on the far side. I'll give you a hand guys in a minute, and Mikael here, and Maui's already got something in his finger. Oh, he's a pretty big, watch your back yeah, there, Maui, jeez, boy. Holy shit, he's taking a lot of weight there. You alright, Maui? I'm going to put this down and give you a hand, mate. I can tell you, you were taking a lot of weight there, Maui, because I jumped on the corner, mate. Holy shit, that's heavy. Okay, right. Oh, jeez, that was close, bro. Oh, your toe. Could have got smashed. That look good. Just three of them, uh, carry on. We'll get four, mate. Yep. A couple of orange and a couple of that. Be bloody good. It's a good start. So, Will's got one, and I'm going to take this one in. This is a beauty, this one. This one's not idling, so we're going to see if we can get it uh, sorted. So, that was interesting because I know a little bit about chainsaws. 35 years ago, I worked in a chainsaw shop and I worked as a forestry worker and my job was looking after all the chainsaws. But 35 years ago, chainsaws were different. Are you sure they weren't the old hand saws? <laughs> it wasn't far from it. So, I could you know, do the uh, timing and the plugs and the fuel field and all that stuff and sharpen them and take the drag teeth down. But today, that one that we've just taken has a computer. And he said, the bloke in there said he'll, he'll plug it into a laptop. Now what it's not doing is it's not self-tuning. So that particular new chainsaw, what you do is you pull the trigger hard on it, and for 20 seconds it goes, and then after about 20 seconds it goes, and it self-tunes. My one's not self-tuning, so there's a tuning problem. At first he thought there was moisture had gotten the fuel, which stuffs with the solenoid. Uh, it gets a bit of moisture on it, doesn't work, you throw it away and put your soul on oil, but that's not the problem because it st should still self-tune. Back home at the old farmhouse, and you know, it's really good having Will with me because he made a suggestion of something I hadn't thought of. I said, we need to put these here up on something. And he said to me, what about tyres? Well, there's old tyres lying around the place. There's one there, look. Yep. One over there. So let's try it inside here. On some tyres. Does this look reasonably flat? Not bad, is it? Yeah, we could uh, put a bit of two by four over and level it a bit. Yeah, let's, let's level it and then uh, do the next step. Yeah. Will is reliving his childhood dream. He always wanted to be a grader driver. Make the noises, Will. Is that better? Hold on, I think when you're going backwards, you should be going. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, I'll do the I'll do the dirt dirts and you do the engine, but we'll, we'll get it in one take. And we're away. <laughs> and yes, we are mature men, aren't we, Will? No, I don't think so. No, no, not at all. There's actually a machine that does that. Yep. A whacker plate. That's actually pretty good, bro. This is exciting. She's coming together. Right. I like Will's idea of the tyre. I think it's a clever idea. That works, bro. That actually looks pretty good. Little thinking, yeah. 
So, what and I share something in common. We both have dyslexic brains. And uh, we've been talking about today how it hasn't actually really been that much of a disadvantage in our lives. Well, I'm talking about myself. Has it been a disadvantage in your life, Will? Nah, unless you want me to write a dissertation and then I'm all right. Oh, she looks beautiful, mate. So tell me, what do you reckon? Do you reckon this was the best way to go about it, rather than putting uh, concrete in? Because I don't know. I just went off what uh, some subscriber told me, but I feel it's the most... I think it's been easier than trying to mix concrete. Oh, absolutely, and time-wise, it's only taken... It took me an hour to shovel it last night. How long has it taken you so far to do this? What would you say? Three minutes? Three and a half minutes? Yeah, right, just to do this little bit here. Yeah. And an hour for me to put it in. If it was concrete, you know, it'd be a lot of work. It'd be permanent. This I can shift if I have to. If I have to break it down yeah. for any reason. And uh, I don't see rats going through this, mate. I just don't see that they'd... Because it's going to be wet all the time, so why would they want to make a home underneath it, you know? If it does, just mix a load of glass in with it. Yeah. Smash a load of glass in, they won't want to dig through it. Yeah. I don't think they're going to want to dig through it anyway. Because it's going to be wet all the time, and rats like to be dry, you know? It's in a place where there's going to be sprinkler systems and that, so... That's exciting. Bloody exciting. Well, that didn't take you long at all. Oh. About five minutes, I reckon, all up. So that's raised. So what are we going to do to stop it rocking, bro? You could probably just take a nick out of the tyre. Nah. No. You reckon? What about some pieces of wood on each side? Yep, that would probably I've work. got plenty of wood left over from the deck. Let's see if that works. Got a little uh, wood left over from the deck. Even it's... something like this could run all, all the way along. We screwed it in. Yeah. And it would just, one on either side, across the tyres. Yeah. A screw in. Yeah. Two in each tyre. Yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. And I really like Will thinking. I like people that can problem solve. So some real problem solving going on here. And you can see we can't get them aligned. I've just suggested maybe we put this one on two tyres. And this one on the ground. And this one on two tyres. So this one sits down below. And then they overlap here. Does that work for you? Or you kind of see a problem with it? I think we should have a go. We'll have a go. Okay, let's try it. The other thing is maybe, like I said, you'd be standing in under here but we might be able to fit a lot more if they all went this side you just have to duck what do you mean this side facing which way so if we had them sitting parallel ah like gotcha this, yeah 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 you'd have to watch your head yeah that, the amount that you could fit in going along this way but you'd have an awful lot of wastage if you did that if you got this way you have an awful lot of wastage in between them you've got this here and then you've got one beside it you're going to end up with a triangle here of gap that's not being utilized and if you add that gap up, you've got one in the corner there as well. Yeah. I think you'll find you'll... And also you're going to be as uncomfortable as hell. The idea is you've got this long thing you can stand up with your head up. I think we should give it a go. Let's do it this way. Let's try the... Up, I'll grab another... Yeah, yeah, uh, let's try that way. Tire. Let's see if it works. And we'll see. So we've kind of uh, reached a happy medium. I said put two tyres so we can get them closer together. But that actually... That, that works all right, bro. I reckon... Uh, I'm going to have a glass pane there, it will just fit in, and this end here will just fit in. Oh, she's tight, mate. She's tight. Might have to get the old saw off and once we put the glass in. Mm. Might have to, a bit of persuasion and pull it this way a little bit. Uh, or, if we were higher, we could bring them in closer. Should we experiment with another tyre on each? I think so. What we could do for, until we get more tyres, Mm -hmm. Just put these on the floor and put this up onto uh -huh. the tires. That's because we don't have many tires. I know, but that means there's more bending down. <laughs> so I'm kind no, of no, like we can get more tires, but for now, just to see how it. Yeah, yeah, let's works. do that. It might be easier. Good idea, bro. That works cool, and I like the height of this to work on. That's really cool. Once we get it stable, hey. Yep, I like it. So I think we need to find more tires. I can see a tire over there. There's a tire on the dog kennel. There might be more tires in this place than we thought there was. One down here, one on top of the dog kennel, one under the lemon tree. Did you get, <laughs> did you get wet? No, not this time. How's it looking? Oh, I like the idea of using these old tires, bro. Yeah. Yeah, recycling, upcycling. Upcycling. Yeah. Treasure. This is a big bass, this one. Ugh. 
It's a big bastard, isn't it? Yep. How's it going to go laid down? Two big ones. They're the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. That's high. Can you come over here? I think this one's slightly bigger. Here we do. Oh, we good? You can juggle it around later. Can we bring it a, a little bit closer to this frame so it's just close to the edge here? Yep. Yeah. So it's just about touching. Here we go. Everyone's one that way there, but I think the uh, top one's actually. Yeah, just bigger than the other. Oh, so you want to go three, okay. We need to have that big one on the bottom, don't we? That's, that's rather the wrong way. That's not, yep. that's not s stable. But uh, I was just trying to chop them together for the rough idea of size. So what do you think, two or three? It's pretty high, isn't it? Is that going to get too high and unwieldy? Yeah, but we're going to secure it, but I don't know. Oh, I reckon two's good. That is high, but I reckon two's fine. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. These must generate a bit of heat, do they, Tyres? I don't know. Bug it if I know. So this actually works because the door will shut at this end. We stagger it with uh, two tyres in the middle. And we've got plenty of room over here now. We lose a wee bit of space down here. But as you say, we could put a, a pot plant down there each side. And uh, also, you can actually fix something to this and maybe hang something yep. above. You know? So that's kind of cool. So the next thing now, is to secure these with battens and then to drill the bottom out before we put our, our soil in that Ross gave us. All right, Captain. Sounds good. It's just off cuts left over from the veranda that Adrian left over. Try these. Does one on either side work or is it too... Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Not bad. Once there's dirt in there, that'll be good. Bro, that works good. It's even flush against there. So long as it's not pressurising against the frame. Yep, we just chuck another one around the back. Yeah, another one in the back, and that's good. And we've got a wee place here. That's good. That works. I'm loving it. Yeah, this works. With an English accent. I want to hear your cork accent. Come on, dear boy. Give me the wee old sing-song talky like that. I think you'll we'll be having a point again this later on down the pub. And, uh, You're potato, sounding potato. like now. What's that? You're sounding like a jack -in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what about, not even like a Dublin? Yeah. Nah, Dublin's more, you're fucking Roy. You're Roy. You're Roy, man. That is a handy little tool. After you've cut that, mate, I want you to explain to me what the hell that is. Is it a proper... Oh, this is an ancient Irish tool. Okay. Uh, built by, hand-built uh, in Ireland uh, in a place called Skibbereen. They're not known really many other places. They're called a, a Leverman. Yeah, <laughs> right. Not made in our northern there. No. What country is it? I think they're made in the States. Oh, yeah. You ever read that uh, story about the guy that cut his arm off of one? It's called Between a Rock and a Hard Place. Oh, yeah. There's 72 hours or something like that. There was a fuckload of time where he ended up having to cut his own arm off to live, and he had one of those saved his life, but he lost his arm. That's why you need to carry a big knife with you, because you go you do. through in one go. Yeah. Did anybody actually um, see that movie or read that book? Between a rock and a hard place, the guy that cut his own arm off. Oh, I don't it was crazy, eh? Like, just imagine that. You've got to choose between sawing your own arm off. You need to go through all his tendons and bones. And, oh, horrible thinking for survival. Did that go through or not? Yep, that's good. Yeah, it looks like it. So it's beautifully. You just make some holes in here for drainage. I love this drill, eh? This is a uh, Devolt. Nice little Devolt. They're awesome. And you can shoot around here like this. The drainage. And we're going to put some stones in the bottom of this well. Yep. Yeah, but concrete. That's probably enough. Trust the bloody palm to have a wee saw in his pocket on a knife, eh? You got everything, man. Actually, Irish. 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 He's fucking Irish, ladies Irish. and gentlemen. Don't be calling me a palmer. Fucking have your, have your fucking kneecaps, man. So, where from Ireland are you from then? Because you sound like a palm. That's because I lived there for a while. I'm from West Cork. <laughs> Just go on home. Have you got no fucking homes of your own? Fuck your Union Jack. I want my country back. 
Go on home, British soldiers, go on home. Can you tell us about that Irish song you just sung? Uh, that's an uh, old Irish song. Uh, it's one of the only rebel songs that I know. Uh, it's one of my good friend's favourite songs. Are you allowed to sing it? I'm allowed to sing it. Why uh, Because it's an old Irish song and I'm also mixed heritage. Uh, so okay. I'm a mix of uh, English, Irish, Welsh, ah, and right. Scottish. Okay, so he's, he's a mongrel. I'm a mongrel, good mongrel. Not a purebred. No. Well, in my experience, mongrels are always better. Purebreds always have problems with their skins. And you know, here's a purebred Dogo Argentino. They are Dogo Argentino, or Argentino, some people call them. Often uh, about one out of five are deaf, totally. Bruno's deaf in one ear. Yep. So you being a mongrel, you won't be deaf at all and you'll have no heart problems and you'll be pretty... What? Yeah, right. Okay, um, so what I want to say to you guys, and use the platform here, use my my reach of my channel. Currently, Will has applied for a job. He doesn't know if he's got it. Currently, he's waiting to find back if he gets a job he's going to know next Tuesday. But if he doesn't, if you're in the Nelson area, here's a bloke that works good. We've only done like a probably a couple of hours work today, but what I've noticed is that he's a self-starter. He's a good problem solver. He's got that initiative to jump in and see something that needs fixing when you're not standing around and let's face it he right now is looking for work and he said hey man i've got the day off i want to come out and help you on the farm and stuff so he's got that work mentality which i don't mind getting my hands dirty absolutely nice one bruno sit down for me cup of tea with me old mate will and what does he do he comes over and sticks his big mouth in it he's disappeared because he knows he's done wrong <laughs> well i'm going to make another cup of tea will because uh you need your tea. i need my tea mate don't patty, mate. You're a bad dog, Bruno. You can clean it up now, though. Come on. Of course, my tea's got cream in it. He'll be loving that. Now I've taught him. What have I taught him? Well, I've taught him if you knock over the master's tea, <laughs> you get to drink it. I, I get a that. reward. That's called bad yeah, training, bad, bad, bad dog training. training. Is it negative or positive reinforcement? That was uh, that was a positive reinforcement. So yeah. next time he does it again, I've got nobody to blame but myself. He's wrapped. You're not having this one, Bruno. You've just had the last one, okay? Where you go. I don't think my avocado is going to live. It's gone sort of a brown colour, the stalk. I think it's dying. Someone said they're really hard to grow. It looks like it's on its way out. These are the lettuces that Mikhail and I planted, and they're looking bloody good. These ones not so flash. I'm just asking Will if this is broccoli or if it's beetroot, and he's saying broccoli. I thought the red stalks it might be beetroot, but I've forgotten, mate. Because beetroot comes up in more leaves. Okay. Rather than that's got a, a stalk. Right, eh? Bloody good. That could be the purple sprouted broccoli. Oh, that'd be good if it is. Oh no, I don't think it is, bro. I think it's Brussels sprouts. I don't think it's broccoli. It Brussels sprouts. Yeah, and this is a cabbage. Well, it's going to be a cabbage still growing, and these are my other cabbage. They're doing really well. These lettuces are growing well, and these are growing well. And so is my radishes, and over here, this is my wasabi. And when Will and I were at the refuge station, we found an old bath, like it's a spa, and he said it'd be good for doing hydroponics, and I thought you could put some sand in it and use it to grow wasabi. And you see the herbs are really going well. It's unbelievable. This is coriander, and it's coriander we'd eaten, and then we just, like, put the roots in the ground, it's grown again. And we've got heaps of coriander. And we eat heaps of it. Look, there's heaps growing over here. And we've got some parsley, got lots of herbs growing here, it's going well. Show us what you got bro. Uh, common common seeds. Spelt K-A-M-O. I believe so, it they're uh, ancient Maori squash. Okay. Uh, and they're really tasty, they're crossed between like a courgette and a zucchini and a pumpkin. Oh really? The only way to describe them. They're really mm. nice if you cut them open, scoop out the middle bit yeah. and put either beef or pork. And, uh, so, so fry it up like a ratatouille, put it inside it and then put it back in the oven. Mate, we'll see some of those, eh? Yep. Oh, thank you. Awesome. So I've done this one, and Will's done this one here, and also this one here. Probably should take the plastic out, eh, bro? Probably should. Might, you know, might put some sort of crap into the soil we don't want to have in our, our veggies. That's good, bro. Drill, just the last one, bud. Good. Sweet. It's gone on. Cool. This one here. Nice. That's good. That's actually done really well. 
Gotta hit. Yep. And. Nice. How'd she sit? Sit all right? That's good. That. Not touching the glass. Perfect. First time. Perfect. Huh? And we're going to weave the space here. We can actually put a piece of wood in here for something else or another planter bay can sit in there. So they're actually quite, um, quite, yeah, quite size wise. We're getting right down to there. So we're getting the maximum. That's a good way to do it. Well, that's one in. Should we put these ones in too? Yeah, why not? Silas? Smash it in, bud. Too easy, too easy. I love those roofing screws, eh? Does it go in or not? Yep. Yeah, no, she's good. They're great, eh? You can use them for everything. Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah, because they're self-tapping. Easy. Easy as. Oh, wait. Nice. Man, this one, how old this one here? So far, we've managed to do this without breaking a pane of glass, which <laughs> I thought would happen. Beautiful. And one over here. As long as I don't put my head through a pane of glass. I'm yeah, mate. Happy. I'd be absolutely devastated if you put your head through a pane of glass because I've only got so many glasses to go around. <laughs> <laughs> right, I see how that sits in there. Well, do you look all right? Get in the right place? Yeah. It's pretty good, mate. Pretty good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Staggered nicely. Wicked. I want to fill one up and put some plants in. I'm say do the center one. Yeah, for now, like just a couple of shovels of metal in it. Yeah, yeah, put a couple of shovels in, and um, let's see, we've got that uh, over there, wheelbarrow, be perfect. Right, so, on top of this, we're going to stick our soil that Ross gave us, and it's going to act as our drainage. Look at that nice soil, potting mix, beautiful, isn't it? Yep, there'll be no weeds in that either. You've done quite a bit of gardening, eh? Done a bit over the years, yep. Yeah. yeah. I've grown a lot of vegetables. Even when I lived in the city, I had a uh, vegetable garden. Well, it's really, really awesome to have you uh, show me what to do. Wicked. So, what do you reckon? Another one of these? stuff on it yeah nice and dark i reckon smash it all in bud what do you reckon two it's beautiful it's really nice soil beautiful feeling yeah that's a nice amount because you've got a, a lip but yep. it's not so far down it's going to be sort of mm. hidden away how stable is it on a tire it's pretty good bro pretty good it's pretty solid there eh? yeah right let's plant something We've got broccoli and we've got cauliflower and we've got some onions. What would be the best thing to plant in that, you reckon? I imagine the broccoli and the cauliflower, I think onions can take a bit more room. Uh, well, a bit more uh, cold, I imagine. Okay. I think they're a hardier crop. Okay, cool. We're probably just gonna put a couple of each in there, aren't we? Yeah. One muscle boy. I really like the idea of upcycling, eh, using old tyres and muscle boys, stuff that's been thrown out. This is the bit that I'm just not sure about. I'm always afraid I'm going to damage the plant, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps you just grab the bast and pull it. Yep. Like that, there right? we go. I got it. Okay. So that's one there. Is that deep enough, that hole? Is that yeah, it should be. If we cover it, it okay. should then grow, the root should grow down. Nice. Beautiful. So that's a broccoli? Uh, that is a broccoli. All right. Chuck another one there, maybe? Yeah, bloody oath. Oh, yeah. Nice. So do we water those in, or just... Uh... Yeah, I can give it a... Once we've got uh, a few others in, give them a bit of a sprinkle. Yeah and then just leave them alone. Cool. So I've made these holes like this, rather than lines just to stagger more. Is that a deep enough hole, bro? Yeah. So one more broccoli in here, please. Poke that in. Nice. 
and heal it nice and tight. That way he's got his own room to, to do his thing. And then the cauliflower will put one over this corner here. I like this uh, teamwork together. How are you getting on with that? Coming out confidently. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's good. While we're doing this, I'd just like to thank uh, Ross Johnson, who's a knife maker, who gave us the soil for this. Thank you very much, Ross. You're nice a good one, bit. Ross. Yep, yeah, absolute good bastard to the max. And uh, that's good. And one last one. Well, that didn't take long to do, did it? Lovely. And I'm probably going to put some wine netting over this until I get the glass house all closed in. Cool. mucking around straight on top of our bit of metal this is not touching the glass is it not quite not quite gotta watch we don't lean against the glass itself bloody good beautiful isn't it? how does it feel working at that height is it difficult or is it comfortable for you it's comfortable enough it's just kneel down yeah because you're a tall bloke yeah, I reckon these would be good, eh? For me, there's something really therapeutic about gardening, eh? Yeah, about being in the dirt. Do you get that? I think uh, all of the things that gives you food sets off like your primal instincts. Yeah, mate. Uh, so gardening, hunting, uh, cooking, fishing, all that. That's what we're meant to do. Drinking beer and drinking Drink, whiskey. Drinking beer and whiskey. It's important, <laughs> isn't it? Afterwards, afterwards. It's funny how you go through life and, you know, like something like gardening. Uh, it took COVID-19 to make me start growing stuff. I never would have done it. I was stuck at home and thought, well, don't want to go to the supermarket. What about growing my own vegetables? And it's actually been a godsend, eh? Did you gain anything from lockdown? Did you learn anything or was it just a pain in the ass? Uh, I think I started watching your channel. Oh, yeah? Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot more subscribers and stuff. So we've got three broccoli there. Is that right? Oh no, three cauliflower. Three bro broccoli. Three broccoli. Oh, bloody good. And we have three cauliflower here. I reckon staggering them as a go. So you want to have, yeah, one there and two over here. Done. Done like a dog's dinner. So for Will's common common, I'm going to plant, I'm going to do three, mate. What do you reckon? Three's enough? Yeah, three's a magic number. Yeah, it is a magic. Actually, I'm okay. Four. Live dangerously, mate. Actually, you know what? I've got five containers, bro. It's a yeah, sign. Yeah. And you can always give them away. Yeah, that's what I like the idea of. Yep. So we're gonna put some seed mix in that and plant them out. So Ross, the good bastard, also gave me that seed raising mix, and that's exactly what we're gonna use. So tell me about this stuff here. What makes it different to the stuff we we'll just use? I think it looks like it's got sand and maybe perlite and vermiculite, I think it's cool. Oh, yep. What will help trap air into it. Okay. And also keep moisture into it as well. Oh, bloody good. Or we could just read the packet and then we'll probably... <laughs> One of my subscribers wrote to me and said vermiculite is carcinogenic. Is that true or not? Never they heard say it? oxygen's carcinogenic, don't they? Yeah, mate. So is coffee and so is whiskey. So yeah. we'll just flag that. Yeah. Everything gives you cancer, apparently. Maybe though, if you breathe it in, it does. Yep. Maybe in the soil. I don't know. It might not have uh, vermiculite in it. Uh, mm. It might have something else. Yeah, right. Uh, there's a lot of things that if you inhale them, uh, so maybe the dust from it's carcinogenic, but yeah. doesn't mean that growing it is. Yeah, right. Oh, I could be totally wrong. I haven't done any research. It could all be bad. Nah, she's right. Chuck them in, see what happens. So, how do you do? You just make a wee hole? Not too deep, eh? No, just to cover it. So, just give them mm -hmm. a poke. Yep. Uh, Each one. Yeah, and then we've got two different types of seeds. They could be either pumpkin seeds. Okay. Or they could be common common seeds. So, any way up when you plant these? Or I not? think they naturally seem to turn around once they... the uh, once they sprout. Right. Uh, so I'll chuck some of these big ones in here. 
uh, they yeah. all got fired into my seed pot at the, the sort of last minute, so yep. I'm not sure which one's which. Oh, be a bit of a surprise, won't it? Yeah. Good, and just um, a wee bit of sprinkle over the top like yep. that, is it? How easy is that? I'll go get the watering can and we'll do all our plants and we'll water them in. I'll put these back in the seed raiser box over here. The one that Margaret gave me. So I had these seeds in a plate but it wasn't working. So I put them in a tapware container. Someone said a tapware container. And it's nice and warm in there and moist. So we can put these on top. Have we got enough room? Can I squeeze them in or not? Oh, he's an intelligence test. Well, are we going to pass it? No, oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. Beautiful. We're going to have to water those though, eh? Yep. But of water, I'll get that. Yeah, Mikhail made that out of a container. Looks that's good, good doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. There's some over here too. I've used something like this for a backpack and shower while in Morocco once. Oh, really? Five litre jug, yeah. For your shower. Beautiful. So I paid thirteen dollars for that can there. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, I was going to make my own, but I thought thirteen bucks, and they sold them at Mitre Ten, so that's why I bought it. This is uh, really looking good. So next thing I want to do is I want to cover these up with something just before we get the glass house put in, just to protect them from the chickens. As a temporary measure before I get my panes of glass, we're going to put a bit of this. Just over top to keep chickens out of our latest plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some some more glass for this made up. I thought about putting plastic in it. You know what? It's a bloody good glass house. I'm going to do it properly. We've got most of the roof, but we need some sides. Some missing here. These ends are missing. I thought about putting plywood in, but it would be better if it's all glass house, wouldn't it? I think so. You get the heat up. Yep. Hey, bro. Put it there. Awesome. Awesome, Thank you man. Thank very much. That yeah. was good fun. Sure was. I'm going to take you on a pig hunt. Sounds good. Yeah, man. You get a, you get a, yeah, a free hunt, man. Everything included. Very good. Yeah, so you just let me know when you want to do that and we'll take you out. So this bloke used to be a climber when he was in college. Were you a teacher as such? Uh, I qualified as a rock climbing instructor, but that was a long time ago. And when's the last time you did some climbing? Uh, well, I worked as a uh, commercial abseiler when I first got to New Zealand. Right. So I was abseiling off... Uh, buildings and cleaning the windows so not very uh not very fancy but it was good hard work right so what he's doing up here now is he's just getting all these dead branches down in case they fall on this we haven't got the panes and the uh all of the the glass house here but we're just getting rid of some of the dead stuff you know snip that off oh yeah that was going to come off and that's actually a bit of mistletoe um i reckon it's all rotten above my head there eh what do you reckon, bro? Snap it off? Gee, I don't even trust that branch you're on, bud. No. Shall I pass your saw and whack that off, eh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. To the foot. Oh, here's a skill. You got your toe on that. I don't think it's going to no. work, bro. Good luck with that. Ah. <laughs> I know what. I'll just hand it to you. There we go. Now, that is a rotten branch. I don't trust it. I reckon you can come back. Okay, I'll come back. Yeah, she's good. That's dead wood. Yeah. Don't lean out on it too much, bud. It's it's dead. Just take the whole lot off, yeah. It's gonna no, come. This is... is it green? Yeah. Take it off anyway. A few more, you were sweet. Well, that worked out well. Yes. Nothing broken, but we were pretty bloody lucky. Cause look at that. We're like dumb and dumber, aren't we? Yep. Sweet. Get out, mate. I'm not going to stand directly under that mistletoe because the only thing around that's really going to kiss me is that. Beautiful. Too easy. Oh, you got it, bro. You got it. Awesome. Just taking the mistletoe off. And there's one above you too, bro. I don't think it's good for the tree, the old mistletoe. Somebody out there might know, but I think it kills them, eh? I don't know, sometimes it could be 
some of these things have like a symbiotic relationship. Right, eh? And sometimes they only sort of grow on it if they are dying. Right, okay. But I don't know, it could be that it, it does. Yeah, right, eh? So Will's uh, thrown his saw at the ground, but he's found some rotten wood, so he's got his little letterman out and he's sawing away. A regular Boy Scout. Oh, yeah, nice work. You can come down on that uh, swing, there's a cross member just there. Put your leg on too, might be easy. We're gonna go up to the ground, are you? Nice going, mate, nice going. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit lighter, but we can now put these uh, panes in here, put this roof on. Yep. So I've got a few uh, glass roof panels here. A lot of these glass panes have broken in transit, you can see. We've got a lot of broken ones today. Very brittle glass and not easy to, to transport, so we've put up a few on the roof, but we're missing a lot of paint, so we have to get some made up. I'll pass that on to you, bro. So we've done it. Well, we've done what we can, eh, bro? We've got one side done. Yeah, we're missing eight panes for the roof in total, and we're missing about seven of these guys here. It's broken here, and that's three there, three down here. So I'm going to measure up and get, I'll ask Richmond Glass, but if anybody's watching that knows a, a cheaper way to get it, we're not going to go to the refuge station because you're taking out of frames and cutting and what would be the best way to do it. Some people said plastic, but I, I think we're going to do the glass house justice. And the next thing I want to do is put a wee picket fence around it so the dogs don't run into it. And I'll put some blankets over our, uh, our plants tonight because Will says that they can still get frostbite through the glass, which I didn't know. I thought that would protect them, but it doesn't. So I just blanket them up, and early in the morning I'll, I'll take that off, and later I'll get some frost cloth. But that is our job today. And I've got to say a massive thank you to Will. Thanks for your time, bro. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bro. I am taking you for a hunt for that. Do you want some wild pork to take home? I'd love it. He does, that. he does. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to give you some wild pork, bro. I'll go and see what's in, lurking in the freezer. Only if you have enough. I have enough, man. I'm a pig hunter. I might have some venison too. I'll have a look. And uh, failing that, bro, well, there's always a bit of mutton on the driveway. <laughs> you got your knife still? The white bag has got a bit of shoulder meat in it, which yep. is uh, it's a wee bit dull, but it's okay. Yeah, cool. It's like edible. It's um, off a 50 pound sow that I got with Simon your know, last week. And it's rump steak uh, venison. Wow. Yeah, I'm that's a good tune. Man, I'm a happy man. <laughs> I can see you light up at the rump steak, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not for Bruno. I, no. uh, I don't think I've ever eaten. I've had wild boar sausages. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever had a, a, a lump of wild pork. So. Okay, so that wants to go on the slow cooker. Perfect. For, for the two of you, you and your yeah. partner, slow cooker all day, nice and slow. A few onions, don't put your veggies in, do them separate, otherwise you, it will taste the same. Yep. Maybe a bit of garlic. A bit and, of red wine? Yeah, a bit of red wine, a bit of salt, nice. uh, some onions, and just cook it slow all day, be absolutely delicious. And that there's for the pan, ksh, yep. ksh, real fast. Nice. Hey bro, put it there, man. Thank you very much. It was awesome to meet you, eh? And uh, I'll come around and give you a hand again at some point. And I'll take you hunting. There we go. Fair trade, bro. You've taught me a few things about gardening too, I appreciate it. Yeah, they're all lies. Okay, hey, see you later. See you later, Clay. Cheers, bro. What a good bass today. It's just awesome the people you meet that uh, put their hand up and say, yeah, I'll help you. And he's stoked for it. <laughs> See his face light up when he got the venison. See you later, mate. Yeah. And I learned some stuff too about gardening. Really awesome to, to meet you, Will. And thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this day. Good luck with your own gardening and your mates and things that happen. I'm going to walk the dogs now because... They're starting to squeak a bit in their kennel over there. Have their walk. It's been an awesome day. Thanks for joining us, guys. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. See you later.